hey guys welcome to another computer graphics tutorial guys before starting today i would like to request you guys to guys please make sure that you subscribe to my channel i put in a lot of effort in making these videos please make sure that you subscribe it's totally free and it gives me motivation to make more good quality videos for you so please subscribe so let's get started today we'll be learning about attributes of output primitives a tutorial by quick cs all right so what do you mean by attributes attributes are properties or characteristics assigned to a primitive which decide how the entity will look like okay so for example if you specify width of a line to be drawn so width is the attribute of the primitive line so line is the primitive and its attribute that you are specifying is width so basically the width decides how thick or thin the line will appear so basically it is deciding how the entity will look like okay so that is attributes now attributes of a line first we'll start with line so there are three basic attributes for line first one is line width second one is line color third one is line type guys these con concepts are really made complex in the textbook but when you actually try to think about it you can just easily understand this with the help of a microsoft paint also you know how you draw in microsoft paint and how you use all the things like line how you change the width of it so the line width depends on capability of the device to display it. So not all the devices can handle big width of the lines and all. So it depends on the capability of the device also to display it. In rasters can display the standard width okay, or default line is drawn with one pixel at each sample position. So basically you are drawing just a line of 1111 pixels. Okay, That is the thickness, default thickness. To draw thicker line. Another parallel line is drawn adjacent to the first one. Okay, so you want to make much one more uh, thick line, or you just want to make this line thicker. What do you do? You just increase the thickness by adding another adjacent line parallel to the first one. If you want it to be more thick, you just add one more line adjacent to it. So on. Okay, so the command to set line width is set line width scale factor, and then you in bracket you specified the line width how much uh, by how much factor you want to uh, increase the width okay so like two three basically it should be anything greater than zero okay so that that will decide the line width okay this is the line width attribute of a line okay now line color when we draw a line the default color of the line is displayed like for example the color of the line drawn in microsoft paint is black okay the number of color choices depends on the number of bits available per pixel in the frame buffer so it depends again on how uh, how much the device is capable of displaying how many colors the device is capable of displaying then you can choose the color according to your own choice by setting the value of the color with the command in figs it is what is the command set polyline color index and in bracket you provide the lc that is line color whatever color you want to provide okay in microsoft paint we can we are given a drop down area okay you can just choose a color from that drop down area even you are given a circle from which you can pick color picker it is called okay so this is line color attribute next one is line types now there are three types of lines okay solid line dashed line dotted line this is how they look solid line is our normal line okay dashed line is like this you have small small lines and there is a gap between them of a exact width okay so this is called dashed line what is dotted line dotted dotted line is also like dashed line but it has smaller values like small dashes and small gaps that's why it is called small or dotted lines okay basically dot is also a smallest line that is possible right you have learnt it in maths okay now solid line is the default line which is drawn with complete solid section for the length specified okay so basically it is the default line solid line nothing new nothing different to set line type attribute in figs the application command is uh, set line type and in bracket you provide the line type so this is the command for it okay now dashed line to draw a dashed line we generate an inter dash spacing that is equal to the length of the solid section okay so basically what do you do you draw a line of certain length then you provide a spacing of certain length again you draw the line again you provide a spacing so th this is how you do it you draw a dashed line with this method so basically we what we do we specify the full length of the line 
okay then the length of the dashed solid section and length of the spacing that we want we provide all these three things and then the whole dashed line is drawn this forms the dashed line all right now we'll talk about dotted line to draw a dotted line very short dashes are drawn okay in this dotted line the spacing between the dots that is small dashes can be equal or greater than the dash size so your length of the solid section need not have to be equal to the uh, uh, gaps or the uh, what do you say spacing it can be smaller bigger or it can be equal of the dash line also okay now area fill attributes there are three options to fill a closed area or defined region okay uh, first one is hollow with color border so you have a hollow area with just color border okay second option is filled with solid color okay and third one is filled with specific pattern now the command for the setting area fill attribute is set interior style and then in brackets you provide the fill style okay fs stands for fill style now hollow with color border as it sounds it's very simple you just have a color border and the inside area is hollow so this is the first type of fill style hollow areas are displayed with only the color border line. the inner area is filled with the background color that's that's why it's called hollow technically hollow is as good as you having a background color just with a border okay now filled with solid color what does this mean is a solid fill is displayed in a single color okay solid color means it's just a single color completely filled in that area the color can also include the color of the border that is let's say if you have a color of the border is black then you can also fill the polygon with black color or any other color that is available for that device okay now pattern fill for pattern fill we use the command set interior style index and in bracket you provide the pattern index okay so basically in this also you have different different types of patterns available okay in the command line pi is pattern index number which specifies the table position like one or two or three etc whatever pattern you have on that positions you just provide that number okay so that is for pattern fill now character attributes now as the name suggests character attributes means how the lines uh, the not the lines but the characters or the letters are typed and how they look okay there are four main attributes of characters namely first one is character font second one is character size third one is character color and fourth one is character orientation you must have seen this in paint you must have seen this in your microsoft word also you have options of changing the font you have options of changing the size the change changing the colors even in the ppt's you have all these options okay even the character orientation you can change in microsoft powerpoint okay now first we'll look at character font font of a character is a typical style in which a font is displayed for example times new roman as you can see this is itself written in times new roman this is how calibri font looks like this is like arial black okay this one is courier new etc okay so the command used for setting character font is set text font and then you provide the name of the font where at this place of tf that is text font okay now you can also display characters with above font in two different styles called bold and italic so you can write the characters in the same font but with different styles again that is you can just write them normal or you can write them in bold style or you can write them in italic style okay for example this text is written in times new roman okay this is plain simple times new roman now this is also times new roman this text is also written in times new roman but in bold style okay the font is same but the style is different the style is bold this text is also written in times new roman but the in italic style okay so this is again times new roman but in italic style and this text is also written in times new roman but in bold as well as italic style so you have like technically four options or four styles in which you can write the same font okay now character size character size is basically font size okay character size can be changed with the command set character height ch okay over here you provide the value of the ch that is you can provide anything above zero that is one two three four ten fifteen seventy two eighty two whatever okay you might be thinking that this command only changes the height of the text no the command is confusing but actually it is changing the com uh, command increases overall the size of the text without changing the ratio and ratio of the height and width so it is increasing both height and the width 
the value of the ch has to be a positive real number above 0 okay now for example see you can see this text is written in size 10 this text is written in size 12 this text is written in size 20 this text is written in size 32 and this text is written in size 67 you can see how they are changing we are just changing the ch factor over here that is character height factor over here okay you can just do that even in your microsoft word you can just change uh, change the size over there command is the same okay now character color as the name suggests the character color is the attribute which sets up the color of the text the command to set character color is set text color index and then you provide tc tc is text color okay the value of tc is the color code of an allowable color by the system so basically what is the capacity of the system it will allow that color code to actually execute or not okay now for example this text is written in red this text is written in blue this text is written in green okay now why we said that it is allowable color because let's say your system is black and white then it won't allow any color other than black okay so that's black or gray okay so that's the issue that's why the color codes which are allowable in the system they will be displayed in the color now character orientation the orientation for a displayed character string is set according to the direction of the character up vector okay now what is character up vector character up vector is basically specifying the x coordinate and y coordinate for drawing a vector from the baseline to the point like this okay you are specifying character x uh, y coordinate and x coordinate over here okay the text then displayed so that the orientation of the character from baseline to cap line is in the direction of the up vector okay for example let's say we specify x comma y coordinates as 1 comma 1 so the vector would look like this this is how the vector would like look like 45 degree yes because over here we have one this is the point 1 comma 1 right so what is the angle between the baseline and the vector it is 45 degree okay now how the normal text looks like this is how the normal text looks like yes it is in a straight line at 45 degree down the way this is how the text will look like that's the reason we keep it at 45 degrees okay this is how it will look in this orientation now text path you can also set up the text path that is if the text should be horizontal like normal text that is this is in horizontal okay or vertical or stacked up one below the other the command for this is set text path and tp is the path uh, text path that you specify okay for example this is how the horizontal text looks like okay this is horizontal text this is normal text this is vertical text okay it is stacked one below the other okay that's it for today guys guys again i would like to request you guys to please subscribe to our channel thank you guys for watching this video like and share this video if you have any doubt feel free to ask them in the comment section below if you want me to make any videos on any topic please feel free to ask them in the comment section below thank you